Okay guys, so today we are going to solve the problem intersection of two linkless. So the question says, given the heads of a two singly linkless, head A and head B, return the node at which the two linkless, two lists intersect. If the two linkless have no intersection at all, return null. For example, for the following linkless begins to intersect at node C1. It is guaranteed that there are no cycles anywhere in the linkless structure. Note that the linkless must contain must retain the original structure after the function returns. Okay, so the solution to this problem is not a pretty intuitive one. So what we're going to do in this problem is use like a two-pointer approach. So we're going to keep one pointer at a one, and we're going to keep one pointer at b one, and we'll you know move them forward until it reaches the last node, which is c three. Okay, so uh, in the first iteration, a one will go to a two, b one go to b two, then a two will go to c one, b two will go to b three, and similarly, and send. Okay, then let's move forward. In c one will go to c two, b three will go to c one, c two will go to c three, and c one will go to c two. Now the a portion of this is over. Okay, now since a is over over here, it reaches null, right? So we'll go back. We'll make this point to B now. So what we're doing is okay. So let me make this over here. So we have A one pointing to A two pointing to C one, then C two, then C three. Okay, and similarly for B one, B two. B three. Uh, okay, so so we have B one, B two, and here we we'll have a B three pointing right. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a pointer over here. So we we'll make this let's say uh, S and this make as make this as F. Okay. Now we we'll make them both of them move forward. So S will be A two. F will also be F will be at B two, then F will be at B three, S will be at C one. Okay, so now S is over here, right? And F is over here, currently at B three. Now, when we move it forward again, then S will go to C two, F will go to C one, right? So uh, S is here, F is here. Now S will go to C three, and F will go to C two. So F here and S here. So now, since S, so the S will be of A, the iteration of A when it's completed. So we don't have anything here. We'll make this S point to B. We'll make it go to the head of B. So it'll be over here at. So it'll be over here and under over here. So it'll be at B one. S will be at B one. So now when we continue the iteration, F will be at C three, and So since F is at C three, this will be at B one. S will be at B one. Okay. Now, since F has completed its iteration, we'll make F point to the head of A, like we did for S. We made it to head of B. Now we'll make it point to the head of A. Okay, and S will be over here. Right. S is here and F is here. Now we'll move it again forward. Then S will be here, and F will be here. Okay, so this is B three S and F two A two is F. Now F will be at C one, and S will also be at C one. Now, so now you can observe that C one is the same node, so they're both at C one right now. And since they're both C one, we'll return C one as the output of this. Okay, so this process of two nodes, you'll always get an answer, but if they're not connected. What will happen is both of them will reach, you know, at endpoint over here at C three, after you know swapping the, their structures, something like this, over here, they'll reach at four and three at five at a point, and since they cannot move forward, they'll just return nothing. Okay, so let's code this out. So we'll code the problem out. We'll just first do, we'll do a check if two nodes are present, two head, two linkless are present or not. So if not head of A or not 
head of B, then return none because we don't we won't have any intersection point between them because the linkless is present our linkless is already none. Then while P1. So we'll make two pointers, P1 equal to head A and P2 equal to head B. And I will check if P1 not equal to P2. We'll first check if P1 is present. If P1 is present, we'll do P1 we'll do P1 dot next. And if it's at the last pointer, like at C3 or something, then we'll just make it point to head B. So P1 is equal to head B. And similarly for P2, uh, P2 is equal to P2 dot next and else P2 is equal to head A. Okay, and in the end we'll just return P1 or P2 because P1 or either P1 or P2, anyone doesn't matter which one because they both will just give you the same output. So let's run the code. Yeah, and submitting it. Yeah, it's submitted. Okay, guys, so that's all for now. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.